you, Alexis. If you are looking to give to charity over the holidays this season, but you really don't know where to actually begin, you can let what they call your social impact personality type help you out. Laura Wells McKnight is back on the show with a little bit more on all of this. Now, Laura, what does that term even mean? I want to get it right. It's, it's kind the, of a cool term, isn't it? It's a cool it? term, social impact personality. Yeah, did you Tell know you had one? I had no idea. And, and <laughs> so you've got more mine? personality. I that well, I don't know. We'll have to find out. I guess, yeah. So there are three, the research shows that there are three types of social impact personality. Okay. And everybody has their own. Yep. Um, one type is the activator. Okay. So these are people who, three words for these people, change the world. These are people who say, this is a cause, I have a, I'm passionate about one cause, right. I want to get up every day and fix environmental issues or, or hunger, fix or, hunger or, or something. Or so you're very, very um, cause driven, so that's yeah. the activator. Our second uh, personality type for social impact is called the connector, mm -hmm. and these are people people. So uh, these people think about doing good as it, as it connects with other people. Yeah. So they want to get out and volunteer with their friends or attend social events that are for a cause. Right. Um, check out what their friends and family are doing. Maybe post a lot of things on Facebook. Good about question. So these people might not necessarily, they'll, they'll donate to the cause, but mm -hmm. sometimes they just want to go to the event as well. Yeah. The money goes to the cause. It's 130 sure. bucks for a ticket. You have dinner, there's dancing, mm -hmm. there's an open bar, and a lot of people, and it's always a good excuse to get dressed up and that mm -hmm. sort of thing too, right? Yeah, and they like doing both at the same time. So they like to combine doing good with social activities. I might so that's fall a into that one a little bit. You might. Because I'm definitely passionate about certain charities, uh -huh. but then I do love those events as uh -huh. well. You know? And events are doing good too. If you show up and you attend a, an event for a charity, that's doing good because charities need people to show up and show enthusiasm. And that ticket is your donation. And that ticket is your donation. So that is a really great way to do good, actually. Especially so this see, time you're of good. Year as well. So that's uh -huh. what I am. So you're what good. I'm a connector then. Yeah. So the, right. so the third one is called the investor. Yep. And these are people who are very bottom line focused. So they like to see the uh, tax deduction for their donation. They like to be sure that their donations can be made online or, yes. you know, they want to get some information on the uh, charity and how, how it shows its financials, things like that. So right. very investor oriented. And that's also a perfectly legitimate position too. You may want to be uh, more financially savvy with your charitable giving and that's fine. I think that makes perfect sense. So let's say totally. I'm just giving $30 to donate to you know some cause that's near and dear to my heart. Maybe I won't take the time to actually make sure that's a part of my taxes, but some folks I imagine are mm -hmm. giving thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. sometimes millions of dollars to charity and of course that tax write-off is that's crucially right. important. And they're tracking case. it really carefully. You never give away a dollar to save 50 cents. So yeah. people don't give to charity as a financial strategy, but they do want to, again, be sure they're connecting the dots yeah. so that they're doing both. So the trick during the holidays is to sort your requests that way. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a lot easier. A lot, a lot of people get really like hundreds or you know at least dozens of requests in the mail or they or phone calls or friends asking yep. or things in their email. So to sort those quickly it's really nice to know okay and what kind of person am I? What do you consider yourself? That is such a great question. Yes. A connector. Connector. Yeah. We're connectors. Maybe we'll connect at one of these that's events. That's right. We. That's right. All we'll right, make Laura. that. We'll put that on our doing good list Absolutely. for 2016. Well, we appreciate All some right. great stuff sure. there. Appreciate of that, Laura. Courtney, over All to you. All right.